testing grounds. This is kind of where I hang my hammock here in the back corner of my yard. You've probably seen a few other videos. But I uh, put this together last year sometime. It kind of doubles as a uh, swing mount or, or swinging. I've got a, one of those bench swings I can put out there. But uh, I also use it for my hammock stand, as you can see. So I'm going to show you a couple of new things I've got. This is my Warbonnet uh, Blackbird XLC. It's a 1.7 double. Uh, I'm a big guy. Uh, so the 1.7 double is uh, gives me a little more support. But that's what this is. I've had it for a year or so. Used to have the regular 1.7 double uh, Blackbird, but I sold it to a buddy and picked up the XLC. I'm six foot four, so the little bit extra length is nice. If you're thinking about an XLC, uh, that is nice if you're over six foot. So a couple things I picked up is uh, these are some of the Dutch titanium cinch buckles that I picked up. Uh, I had the regular cinch buckles, the aluminum ones for a while. I never really had any problems with them. I think a lot of people or some people did with the, uh, had some problems with the little um, adjuster here or whatever you want to call this cross piece shifting on them and pinching the, the webbing. Um, I never did, but you know, I needed a, some new hardware for another hammock for my daughter. And so I decided to pick up these to put on mine and I moved my other cinch buckles over to hers and they seem to work fine still. So that's one thing I've picked up. I've got these attached to my Blackbird with a continuous loop of 764 amp steel there. And that's uh, titanium cinch buckles. The other thing I picked up is some of the Dutch's uh, new Dyneema and polypropylene, I think, webbing. Uh, I just I bought some raw webbing and just made my own tree straps. Hopefully my stitching will hold. It's not the most gorgeous, but uh, we're going to try it out and see if it holds there. But I made me a set of straps uh, from that. And uh, maybe saved a little bit of weight, not a whole lot. I know it's just probably grams, but uh, I'll weigh them, the other straps that I had, and compare them to these and let you know the difference. I think they're about the same length, but I'll measure and make sure and give you an idea of the difference in weight savings there, as well as the cinch buckles. I'll weigh those too and let you know. But uh, that's my setup I'm going to try for a while. I know I could probably go lighter on the suspension with Amsteel, and I have done that. I've set up the Amsteel setup before uh, with whoopee slings, toggles, shorter tree straps, you know, the whole thing. And um, it's not that much difference, and this is just convenient. And so it's just easy to pull and adjust and to take the slack out. I just like it uh, easy and with a 1.7 double which is one of the heavier hammocks anyway I, I'm not making a whole lot of savings there by changing it over to Amsteel so I'm gonna go with the straps for now that's worked for several years and I'm gonna stick with it so that's my hammock setup it's a beautiful afternoon It's not as hot as it was. We had a little rain today, so it cooled it off a little bit. So I think it's in the mid to upper 80s. And there's a slight breeze. So I'm enjoying laying in the hammock. It's nice. Got burgers cooking over there on the grill, which looks like they're flaring up a little bit, so I better go check on them. Uh, so I won't get to spend much time in the hammock, but just testing out the new webbing to see how it holds. No slippage or anything just yet, so we'll see. If you hadn't tried the, uh, the new webbing from Dutch, that Dyneema and polypropylene webbing, give it a shot. Seems to work quite well with the titanium 
cinch buckles, the deck sails, good stuff. Easy to set up. Alright, time to check on the burgers.